Hey everybody, Dr. Ed Giliotti here. In just a few minutes, I want to share on why it's so important to get your upper cervical spine assessed. Um, I'm going to go through some basic anatomy and what is housed in that upper cervical spine and that upper neck and what it controls. So this here is a 3D image of someone's head and neck who's under care. This is the back of their skull. Their atlas bone, top bone here, holds the head in position, okay? Axis, so that's the atlas, C1. The axis is C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. So we're able to get the whole neck in this image, okay? First, let's think about blood supply. So right, um, they're both on the left and right side of the neck, but you have these foramina, you have these, these holes here, right, on the side of the vertebra. And what travels up through there is the vertebral arteries. And there's one on the left side, and there's also going to be one on the right side, okay? And how cool is this technology, by the way? All right? Now, the vertebral arteries, the, the purpose of that is to supply blood to the whole upper uh, spinal cord and posterior aspect of the brain. So we're talking about cerebellum and the whole uh, posterior aspect, like two-thirds of it. Very important, okay? Think about how important blood supply would be to the most important organ we have, brain tissue, all right? We're not, we don't chase symptoms here, but just so you can understand the magnitude of this is when it's in a very severe state, insufficient, okay, where you can have pressure on it. It could be from vertebra that are malpositioned, putting pressure on that, on that delicate vertebral artery. It could be another issue, but e either way, some symptoms that show with um, ver vertebral artery insufficiency is vertigo, nausea, tinnitus or tinnitus ringing in the ears, drop attacks, visual issues, and the list goes on and on, okay? Now, not even mentioning the blood flow going to the brain, let's just think about straight brain function, okay? Check this out. You have the whole brain that's gonna be sitting up here, cerebellum's gonna be here, cerebellar tonsils, right? And then you're gonna have the lowest part of the brain called the brainstem. The lowest part of the brainstem is called the medulla oblongata. That comes approximately down through the atlas, entering into C2, or the axis, all right? You have your whole brain funneling through a small stalk like this, going through the top of the neck, right through here, all right? It houses the cranial nerves. The cranial nerves are so important. They control your virtually every function within you. Is, um, is the cranial nerve 9, 10, 11, and 12. Go through the medulla oblongata, which goes through the atlas vertebra okay, which is housed in the atlas vertebra. Let's focus on cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is, medicine is, is pretty interested in the vagus nerve, like medical science, because it is incredible. This nerve, if you want to look it up on, on Google, literally goes through the whole body, supplies parasympathetic activity to every organ in your trunk and your abdomen other than the adrenals, okay? So it literally is, is in control of your digestion, your heart rate, um, your immune system responses, your mood, your mucus and, and saliva production, your um, skin and muscle sensations, so uh, like how, how you feel in your body, your speech, your taste, your urine output, all vagus nerve um, controlled. So it's like when you think about this and you think about like how important the upper cervical spine is, if you ever had a slip, a fall, a car accident, right? Birth injuries where they're pulling on the head and neck. How many people do you think have twisting and torquing in the upper neck and it's affecting their whole quality of life and all of their physiological function? It's like, look at this individual where the neck goes straight up and then look how these two vertebrae here, how much they're torqued to the right, okay? Now check this out. With this technology, look what we can do. So we can move it any which way. But I'm going to show, this is now, so this is from behind, okay? All right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right through the top of this person's head and neck. So check this out. This here is a true bird's eye view to the occiput, the skull. That's the other word for, for the skull, right? The base of the skull. The atlas vertebra and the C2. Now check this out, what you should see is symmetry. Anytime you have asymmetry looking down this canal, you have a higher predisposition to pressure and torquing on that vertebral artery, on the, on the brainstem, on all those cranial nerves that control your whole life, 
right? If you feel it or not, if there's pressure on this system, it's down regulating that whole system, pretty, virtually every function within you. Check this out. Look at the atlas on this side. Look how much thicker it is compared to the atlas on this side. That's because the atlas had slid forward and to the left on this individual. It's not that one side is thicker than the other. It's that there's a malposition where it's sliding under and putting torque in, torquing on that, on that delicate tissue inside that controls your whole life. And look, look what we can do with this. That's what the individuals had on and that's what they've taken off, okay? And you can see on how the bone's symmetrical on both sides, but and then it's sliding under the skull on that left side, okay? Break down your health to your anatomy. For tibral arteries, cerebral spinal fluid, didn't even talk about that. The countless nerve fibers, trillions of nerve signals going to and from the brain every split second, brainstem function, vagus nerve. You need to get checked if, if you want to make sure you're fully healthy. It, 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 it could be any upper cervical office, but go to someone who's trained, get assessed, um, get testing done, see. So you could live life the way you're designed. Because with very gentle corrections, no twisting, popping, or cracking, okay? Um, you, you can get pressure off of this system so you could live life even better, okay? Live life better the way you're actually designed, all right? Love and appreciate you guys. Share this message. People need to know about this. There's so many people that have pressure on, on the most important area of their whole body and they have no idea and they're just existing through life not knowing that life could be better and there could be an answer to some of the, or some or all the issues they're going through, okay? From a health perspective. Love and appreciate you. Um, if you need anything, we're here for you. But share this message, please. Thank you.